Hello everybody, I'm Games of 522 and welcome back to more Metroid Prime. Thank you, game, for reminding me what we're doing today. We're heading to the Elite Quarters. We did a bunch of item cleaning up and now it is time for us to start making our way through. Now that we have the X-Ray Visor and the Plasma Beam, we can actually reach all the way down to the third level. I'm going to go ahead and sneak into this hole. Then we can kind of hop behind here, scan this, and shut them off. My missile count kind of sucks though, but what can you do? So this is the Metroid quarantine area, huh? How about we go ahead and say, fuck these guys. So it looks like we need to go up here and access the console in order to open up that barrier. There we go. You think I'm worried about Metroids at this point? I got the ice beam, bro. I am running low on missiles, however. The game is doing a good job of reminding me of that. Alright, now when we come up here, you would think, man, there's no way for us to go. This is what we have the x-ray visor for, because as you can see, there are invisible platforms here. So we pretty much want to have our x-ray visor on. Can't really see Metroids in the X-ray visor. I mean, kind of can, but hey, okay, now off I say. Now, let's see. Yep, there's a platform right here, which we can use to get up here. This spot is hollow right here, so you can use a power bomb or two power bombs. So that way, this, what this does is it makes a shortcut back. So that way you can just like take the spider ball so we can go over here. And then you could just jump back from here. That's all this is. Right. And now we proceed. Just mind the blue phase on. We can activate this and we can take this lift down to the third level. Now, believe it or not, there is a power-up down here that we can get if we're quick enough. Underneath this mushroom, if we morph ball, we can get under here and grab this missile expansion. And then get out before we take too much damage. These guys just make it easy for me sometimes. Now we want to hop across some mushrooms. How about none of that? Now we need to make our way across, but let me pull out my x-ray visor and go along the ground here. 
because if I recall, there is like some hidden, there is some like hidden floors and whatnot in rooms like these. At least one room in particular is like that. Okay, this doesn't seem to be the room. Yeah, look at these Phazon mushrooms. Phazon fun guy. Oh, God damn it. It ain't my jump input. Or I guess I was falling for a frame when I pressed jump, so I just didn't jump. Uh, we need to get over to that mushroom all the way over there. And we have to use a power bomb to blow up in this rock. Now we need to boost our way across here. And there's a bunch of blue phase on in that path down there, but we can't go down that way without getting absolutely destroyed. Let's turn on our thermal visor coming into this room. In this place, we got more Metroids, it seems. I think that's all of them. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. There's actually a hollow floor right here. If we lay a, just a regular bomb, we can blow open the floor. Grab another missile expansion. And I don't see anything else, for the most part. Ow. I did not think I was walking in phase on. Ow. Ow. Okay. Now, if we come this way, there is a door over here to our left. We want to check that out. You want to be careful when swinging on this guy because sometimes you can kind of overshoot the mushrooms that you need to fly towards. And here we have a save point. Or no, this ain't a save point. This is a missile restorer. Yay. Okay. Coming back out. Looking at brass tacks as we do. What we need to do is we need to swing to either that mushroom or that far one. I'm going to swing to this one for safety. And then we can just jump to this one. There we go. There's a gap between the mushrooms there, so... Also, we have invisible bombos. A first, to be sure. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill them, make my life easier. Yeah, I saw that other one just like trying to jump scare me. And now we're introduced to the final elemental pirate, the fire pirates. They can only be hurt by the plasma beam. Well, actually, no, I think we've met these guys already. But honestly, have, being only affected by a plasma beam is kind of like a double-edged sword for them because that shit hurts like hell. Not to mention they're taking damage over time while they're just sitting here burning alive. There we go. And that takes care of them. See here. Jump across here. 
want to try to avoid using our missiles for the time being. We can shut down the force field right here. It looks like we got another wave pirate right here. It's also a tunnel. Uh, there's also a canister we can break with a super missile to get another missile expansion. Yeah, I know I'm missing some missile expansion somewhere, because at this point, this would be, this would be the, uh, I, if I recall, I think that's supposed to be the last missile expansion in the game, if you had gotten everything up to this point. Now, before we move on, I'm going to do one last thing. I'm going to come in here into this plasma door. And as you can see, the elite quarters is right behind here. We're going to kill this flame pirate. And we're going to fire a charge shot to melt this. So there's energy going through so we can go into this door. But... I consider this one of the hardest fight in the fights in the game, but it's also my personal favorite. So, I'm actually going to end the video off here. As, as short as this video was, I apologize for that. Because I just want to make sure that I am good to go for this. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you thought. And if you are new and you want to keep up with this adventure and see what happens next, be sure to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to get notified whenever I upload. I appreciate all the support and love that you guys give me. It really means a lot. Join the Fox Army and I will see you guys on the next video. Till then, see you then.